So here we are with an intro to integration. First time we've seen it. Uh, before we get started, uh, let's look at some like opposites in maths. Plus, minus, multiply, divide, uh, squared, x squared, uh, square root of x. These are like opposites of each other. Usually when we give you an operation, we give you a like opposite operation. So that's where integration comes in because you know how to find the derivative of something. The opposite of derivative is integration. That's it. Okay, so we're going to do derivatives, but backwards. So derivatives, if someone asked you to find the derivative of this, you'd say, well, y equals x squared. So uh, dy dx is equal to 2x. Now, similarly, if someone said to you, dy dx is equal to 2x, find y. Now what you'd be doing is working backwards and you'd be finding the integral. You'd be doing integration. And we can work backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, doing derivatives to work that way and integrals to work that way. Derivative, integral. Now just so we don't get started on the wrong foot, when you do an integral, something very strange happens. You add this little plus c on the end. We'll talk about why in a minute. But for now, I just need you to understand that the opposite of derivative is integration moving backwards and forwards there. And before I show you a formula for it, I think you can work it out yourself. If dy dx equals 3x to the 5, find y. Pause the video and try to find out what y was by doing integration. What was derived to make 3x to the 5? Now hopefully you tried it. Um, if you didn't, that's okay. I'm going to show you some notation to use here. So, if dy dx equals 3x to the 5, find y. y is equal to the integral of, it looks like a long s, with very short ends kind of thing, uh, the integral of 3x to the 5 with respect to x. So if you're trying to find the integral of something, this little like elongated s and this with respect to x is important. This says that y is equal to the integral of 3x to the 5 with respect to x. Now, let's integrate it, but to do that, we're going to need a formula. So here's a handy formula, integrating polynomials formula. The integral of x to the power of n is equal to x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. So what does that say? It says increase the power by 1 and then divide it by whatever that new power is. So I'm going to do that here. Uh, now the formula doesn't really mention anything about this 3 out the front, uh, but it's this, treated the same as you do in derivatives. You just um, divide or multiply by that 3 as well. All right, so what am I doing? I'm increasing the power by 1. So that's 5 plus 1. That 3 remains, and I am going to divide by the new power, the 5 plus 1. And then, really need something extra on this formula, plus c. You're going to notice that I forget plus c a lot, but you need to remember it. It's super important, and I'll explain why in class. Alright, so uh, 3x to the 6 over 6, and obviously I can simplify that. Uh, to be x to the 6 over 2, or half x to the 6 if you want. That was our first integration. It's the opposite of derivative. How do I know that? If I find the derivative of that, um, that would be decrease the power by 1, bring the power out the front, 6 over 2 x to the 5, which is 3 x to the 5. You can check your work if you know how to do derivatives, integrals, backwards and forwards. Gone off the screen here, example 2. If y dash equals 3x squared plus 4x cubed plus 3, find y. Uh, this is another integration because we know y dash, we want to find y. So y is going to be equal to the integral of all of that, 3x squared plus 4x cubed plus 3, with respect to x. Now this works the same as we did with derivatives. We find the integral of that, we find the integral of that, we find the integral of that, and we put it all together. So it's we can rewrite it that way, or we can just integrate it all in one go. So um, if y equals the integral of all of this, then y equals the integral integral of that is going to be increase the power by 1, 
x to the 3, not to the 2, because it's increasing by 1, and then divide by the new power. So 3x to the 3 over 3. Plus, increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, 4. Plus, now this one here, what are we doing there? Well, that's kind of like 3x to the 0. So the integral of 3x to the 0, increase the power by 1, 3x to the 1, divide by the new power, which is 1. So 3x to the 1 divided by 1, 3x. That was a long convoluted way of saying that the integral of a constant is something x, the constant x. Uh, that's our answer, but don't forget, because it's very, very important, plus c, and I will explain why in class, I promise. Uh, example. All right, so example three here, find f of x if f dash of x equals one on x squared. I'm asking the same question three different ways here. If dy dx equals that, find y. If y dash equals that, find y. If f of x, uh, find f of x if f dash of x equals that. So, f of x equals the integral of the thing we were just told about, one on x squared with respect to x. Now, just like with derivatives, I can't really deal with that straight away, but I need to sort of rearrange it a little bit so I can deal with it. Equals the integral of x to the negative 2 with respect to x. Now that I can deal with. Um, so, increase the power by 1, negative 2 becomes negative 1. Decrease the power, um, divide by the new power, so divide by negative 1 uh, with respect to, uh, don't need the with respect to x anymore, but I do need something else. Plus c. Alright, so simplifying that a little bit, it becomes negative 1 over x, because x to the negative 1 is the same as over x plus c. So that's what f of x is in this scenario. All right, so the thing to take away from this third example is, just like with derivatives, sometimes you can't attack it directly. You have to rearrange it first before you can apply our integration formula. I'm going to get rid of that example. I'm going to do a new one in its place. So I found some space here, so let's do it here instead. If dy dx equals 3 root x, find y. All right, so y is going to be equal to the integral of that 3 root x with respect to x. But... Just like with derivatives, I don't really know how to deal with square roots, so I have to turn it into a power so I can deal with it. So y is equal to the integral of 3x to the half with respect to x. Now this, I can deal with, and I can deal with it just with my rule here, uh, increase the power by 1, so it's going to be 3x to the 3 on 2, and then divide by the new power, which is divide by 3 on 2. And then don't forget, plus c. So people get tripped up here, but now what we're going to have to do, if we're dividing by 3 on 2, that's the same as multiplying by 2 on 3. So y equals 2 on 3 times uh, 3x to the 3 on 2 plus c. Uh, that's going to be 6x to the 3 on 2 over 3 plus c. Um, now, 6 on 3 is 2, so now we have 2x. x to the 3 on 2 is the same as x to the 3 square root plus c. So a little bit of mucking around there, but same deal, same rules all apply for all of these sorts of questions. All right, quite a bit of stuff done there. Uh, don't forget this very important rule here for integration. And don't let anyone try to like make this more complicated than it is. It's just the opposite of derivatives, and don't forget a little plus c on the end.